What's good, everybody? This is MC Aggie saying motherfucking James, bitches. And I'm back. Okay, listen up. This is vlog. Just hold on a minute. I think this is 109. So hold on. All right. So I think my skin's looking a little funny. Like this looks like I got a black eye or something. But anywho, I don't know. I think it's the lighting at my crib right now. I hope my hair look okay, Robert. <laughs> okay, so listen up, cause this is on some serious shit. The first thing I want to discuss is this Ebola. Okay. Now I've been doing some more research on this Ebola. And I'm starting to see another picture. And I want to share it with y'all, okay? You know, I had mentioned in one of my past vlogs, it was a recent vlog, I think it was like from yesterday or the day before that, where I had mentioned that this Ebola virus could possibly be well I didn't say it like this but what I was saying was in that previous vlog was that I wondered what else could be going on in the world that they weren't telling us about but still yet having us focus all of our attention on this Ebola and I hope that came out right because I'm just really trying hard to really explain what it is I'm trying to say. Um, Newport, y'all know. I think I think what's going on, and and it makes a lot of sense, people. You know, please just work with me. I'm just trying to find the best words to say with to say what I'm trying to say. You know, the government's best way, you know, y'all know about martial law and these FEMA camps and these um, FEMA, you know, um, internment camps and, and everything. Y'all know about all that, you know, and, you know, this New World Order and everything like that. And so, um, you know, the one of the things that the elite are very good at doing is they're very good at promoting um, fear and terror with, uh, um, within the people. And I, I, I took a few notes and I'm going to just look at them real quick and just kind of tell you what I have. Um, you know, in order for them to create fear and terror, they have to create a panic, a crisis. Do you understand where I'm going with this? And by doing that, they get submission of the people. And for those who don't submit, they're forced to have to submit, so to speak. Um, as I was researching Ebola, I came upon several different places or sites which stated that Ebola can only stay alive in hot, extremely hot climates, which is why um, they did their research on the Ebola and their testing on the Ebola in Africa because there's jungle area there it's, it's very hot there but I also read that Ebola cannot survive in a cold atmosphere so where there's AC it will automatically die. 
it cannot survive in 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 a cool climate. And I found that to be extremely interesting. And now I know y'all are shocked upon hearing that because I, I was I was really shocked. Um, and it makes you kind of like take a deep breath and sit back for a moment. And I think what's going on, and you know, I could be wrong. So before I get all these critics who want to leave comments on this vlog like they did on my um, vlog about Yellowstone. That's almost got 7,000 views. And it's only been out like a month and some change or something like that. Um, I got so many comments from people on that vlog who were like, who the hell do you think you are? And da, da, da. But I don't even care about that. I'm making a point here. So, like I said, I could be wrong, bitches, okay? Um, and I'm not talking to my regular commenters because, you know, y'all, we family, we people. We feel what's going on. We on the same level. <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about. Because y'all just as smart as I am. Y'all see, too, what's really going on. So this isn't, you know, directed towards y'all. I'm talking about the critics that be going through people's YouTube vlogs and videos, leaving nothing but negative comments, trying to pick, pick at everything that this person could have said that wasn't right or came out wrong. So, fuck all them motherfuckers, okay? <laughs> I'm going to keep it real because I don't give two shits about them. But I do want to say this. You know, like I said, the elite's main agenda is to create mass chaos for which they can come in and create order. Order out of chaos. So, that's what they did with the zombie apocalypse a while back. When that guy with superhuman strength but naked ate that homeless man's face I think it was a few years back and then some more people started coming out of the works coming out of nowhere and I had mentioned this in one of my first like 10 or 15 vlogs about the zombie apocalypse and how you know I'm pretty sure that you know it wouldn't shock me if the government didn't have something for that like seriously something that would allow a person to become literally a zombie. Um, and I'm not going to touch on that because I've already touched on it. Um, but, I, you know, I'll, I might touch on that tomorrow. But let me just finish with where I'm going with the Ebola because I don't want to get off course with the point that I am trying to make. And that point is this. You know, it was the H1N1. It was a zombie apocalypse thing it was the fucking what else um these these school shootings um that theater that got shot up um you know all of these things now they've got this fucking water that's been poisoned with toxins um and now all of a sudden there's this flesh eating bacteria coming out in florida in the ocean um, I mean, it, it, it just makes you kind of wonder, you know, are they trying to create, like, is it really Ebola? Is this thing really happening, people? I mean, I just, I just need y'all to just, and like I said, I may be wrong, but just think out the box for a minute with me for a second. Is this thing really going on or is it just their way of creating mass panic and chaos for something bigger for a bigger event could it be their way of trying to distract the people of this world as a whole so that when all of our focus is on Ebola and, and, and all this pandemic possibilities and outbreaks and shit that they just boom 
a major crisis occurs. You know, God forbid, I'm using this as an example. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Let's say something happens in the Hoover Dam breaks. Which I believe, honestly, if it ever did break, it would be purposely broken. And, you know, or, you know, New York gets bombed or some shit. I'm just saying it's a possibility, people. I'm not saying it's going to happen, okay? Damn. I'm, like I said, I'm not talking to my, to my family, to my commenters that I consider my family. Y'all know who y'all are. I'm talking about these other people that want to critique every, every motherfucking thing that you say. I'm just saying, the best way to get people is to distract them and then hit them when they're off guard. I mean, now think about what I just said. Now, I'm not saying that the Ebola virus is not real or that it, it, it never existed. I'm just simply saying, you know, they've got a lot of uh, actors that they hire to play these parts in these false tragedies that just so happen to occur that would more than likely cause a panic in this world society. Um, and I find that a little odd. Not surprising. It's just a little odd. It makes you really think. So, you know, right now the CDC is saying that... I'm not even looking at my notes because I like know the shit off the top of my head. Because this is just like kind of common sense. Right now the CDC is saying that they're afraid that this Ebola virus is actually going to be able to be spread via air travel, you know, in the atmosphere. And it just makes you think, like, as if we weren't panicking enough, um, let's make the people panic even more. Let's say that there's a good chance it could now be contracted through just breathing in the air. Do you see where I'm going with this? So, I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm still doing a lot of research, but I think I'm going somewhere with this. I think I might be discovering some truth just by taking, just by me setting aside my time, taking the time to really delve deep into what what's really going on or what could possibly really be what's going on other than what they're perceiving, you know, other than what they're telling us is really going on. And just oh, and just by opening up my mind even more so than I already do with what I already know, you know? Um, so I, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm, I'm really starting to wonder if this thing is even really going on. Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, they could easily, I don't know, I don't know, and, and I don't want to say too much um, without having at least some more facts or, and you know, nothing I said is a fact, it's just me using my head, you know? And like I said, opening up my mind even more so than I already do on a daily basis with topics and, and things that have to do with, with the government and things like that. Um, so I don't know. Um, I think I've made my point, though. I hope I have. Um... All I'm going to end it on as far as with this Ebola topic is this, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm, I still got to do some more looking into it, but I'm starting to really think that um, this may really not be what it is. And all this, you know, you know, the government's, the elite's main goal is to create fear and distraction amongst the people of this world and they're doing a pretty good damn job at it but they haven't fooled everybody they have not fooled me and I'm sure along with 
you know, my regular commenters, which I know for a fact they ain't fooled y'all, because we on the same level, we on the same page, we see what the sh what what's really going on. But for those that I have not, that that are just coming upon this video of mine for the first time, don't know who the fuck I am and all that shit. I'm pretty sure, or I'm hoping that you're aware of maybe some of this yourself as well. Um, you know, so I, I I don't I don't I don't know, you know. And then on top of all of this, Obama signs an executive order that will now give him the ability or give hospitals the, the ability to detain individuals who are showing signs of respiratory illnesses, be it a cough or possibly a sore throat or like strep throat. Um, Sign well, sinus wouldn't really be respiratory, but in a way, because it's all kind of connected, anything that has to do with like a respiratory, they will now detain you if you go to the hospital. So I'm just letting y'all know that now. If you don't believe me, look it, look the shit up yourself online. Go on YouTube, go online, look the shit up yourself. He just signed this executive order. Um, now. Bush signed this. He 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 came out with this executive order. I think it was in um, 2003 or 2000. It was in 2003 or eight. I'm not quite sure. Okay, but Obama went back this week and did some tweaking to it. And what it originally was was that hospitals had the authority to detain any individuals that showed signs of a contagious you know disease or infection or something like an Ebola people or you know H1N1 but Obama went back in this week and decided to tweak it a little bit and now he's making it that hospitals not only have the authority to detain individuals who who are showing strong symptoms of something serious like that, like an Ebola or H1N1 or, you know, shit like that. But now, any type of respiratory issue, hospitals have the authority to detain that individual until further notice. Now, with polymer season approaching, bitches, um, with winter coming, you know, people get sick. What a coincidence, coincidence, what a coincidence, the timing of it. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, really open your minds, people. The timing of that, tweaking with winter approaching, fall coming, the season that people get sick in the most. I'm, I'm just saying, do y'all see where I'm going or is it just me? Because I know I'm on to some shit. I know I am. And when I'm smiling, I'm not I'm not smiling because I'm taking this lightly or I think it's funny. I, I'm smiling because I really think I'm on to some shit. And, um, you know, I'm just going to stop it on the Ebola thing for right now. Because let me do some more looking into it. Um, but this is some crazy shit. If if I'm on to some, some shit, this is... This is some crazy shit. I mean, it, it's not shocking. You feel me? But it just really, it really shows you how even more fucked up <laughs> this this government is. It, it, it's just, it becomes funny in the sense where it's so pathetic. Like, it's so fucked up. It's so tragic that people could even think up this shit not what I just said but just you know that people could just think of even trying to spend their entire lives to just create fear and, and panic in people and then to actually spend their entire lives making that happen because they have the money and the resources and because they're part of the elite like you have to have no heart like, no soul exists within you if you are one of these elite 
individuals because I don't I don't understand like you know people got goals and dreams and aspirations and passions you know I want to do this with my life I want to make this dream turn into my reality but just think of how it would be to be that person who's like my whole agenda on this earth is to depopulate the earth to cause pandemics to make sick children just die um, and, and claim there's no cure when we have the cure and we're just sitting back laughing at all these people that are dying of AIDS and cancer and God forbid what else um, while we just sit back and roll in the dough and laugh and cause we're good you know like how it's, it's almost like you're to be one of those individuals it's almost like you're not human you're just you're just fucking not human. And to know, and I mean to know, for those whose eyes are wide open, to know that those individuals are the ones, are the exact ones who run this world is even more frightening. Um, because it's, it's just, it just is. So, uh, I just wanted to share this with y'all, and um, I'm still kind of blown away by everything um, that I've kind of like figured out. Um, you know, there there have been plenty of tragedies that have happened on this, you know, in this world within these past five years where. They've claimed that these that these families died, um, that these shooters killed all these kids, and these people died in these theaters and schools and shit and Boston bombings and shit, only to reappear on the internet a year or six months down the road in a photo with them posing with their family at the beach. I mean, do you see where I'm going with this? So it's it's it's. You know, and it wouldn't even shock me if, if, if these certain elite were like, look, we'll pay you to act like, you know, this shit really did occur. Um, and in doing that and agreeing to that, we will take care of you and your family when shit hits the fan. When our real agenda, you know, when the mask is, is, ta is finally taken off of what our real agenda is we will cover you and your family and y'all will not want or need for anything all we're asking for you to do is play your role is play your part so you know I don't know I was going to do this vlog on something else but I think I'm going to end it for I think it's best I end it with this you know just end it with, with, with what I've discovered thus far and this was just in one day, today. <laughs> so, let me know what your thoughts are on this vlog. Number 109, I said it was. Um, it's not eight, it's nine. Um, and let me know what you think. Because, like I said, I think I might be on to something. And if you don't know who I am, once again, I am an MC, hip-hop people. I spit, I sing, just Google Aggie St. James, A-G-G-I, St. S-A-I-N-T, James, just Google me, bitches, Google Aggie St. James, and you will see all the many, many links that I'm on, all of the music promotional sites and shit, and you can hear just some of my music, I'm extremely controversial, um, I'm what most say is the most that most people say I'm the most controversial MC out today <laughs> um, but you have to hear my music to see for yourself so once again y'all this is MC Aggie St. James um, and I'm out oh wait a minute tomorrow I'll work until 4 I have an errand to run after work 
So my vlog for tomorrow will be done in the evening. Um, and I will post... I will post... Um, I will put a post up on my Facebook at Aggie St. James. Um, and let y'all know when it's uploading. So if you don't follow me on Facebook, I recommend that you do so. Because I do post a lot of uh, posts on there. Um, I also let people know when my videos are uploading um, so they know to be on the lookout for them. And I also post photos of my um, daughter on occasion. I don't do that a lot because I'm very protective of her. But, um, or just photos of me um, from past photo shoots and, and, and stuff, um, flyers for music shows and stuff like that. So, anywho, once again, it's MC Aggie St. James, y'all, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm out.